are you going to calculate your final GPA? What is GPA? How are you going to do that? How is it that? Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we continue, I want you to do just for me. Please, look down there, beneath it, on your right, whether you're using a laptop or a phone. You see the subscribe button in red. Please subscribe by click on it and subscribe. Yes, please do that for me. Then click on the bell so that you get notified whenever there is any update. And please like this video. Just like it. Okay, thank you. One more thing. Do not skip my ads. I'm begging you. I need these ads as much as we need some kind of information. Please do not skip my ads. So today, what you're going to talk about is really, really important. GPA. How are you going to calculate your final GPA? What is GPA? How are you going to do that? How is it done? So guys, stay tuned as we bring you a practical way of you calculating your GPA by yourself before the end of the semester, the end of the academic year, or the end of your four years journey at your university. Okay guys, so before we get into it, there are some key things you need to know. CGPA, GPA, FGPA. These are the three things I will be using. So please let's get to let's get to the board. Yeah, so we need to see CGPA. We have GPA. We have C, 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 and your final T. So this is cumulative grade point average. This is cumulative grade point. Oh, sorry. This is cumulative grade point average. This is grade point average. This is your cumulative courses taken, and this is your final grade point average. So, so this is what you will determine your class, the class that you graduated after you've completed the four years. So you can see beneath this video, you see the grading system or the, the results that we're using. So first, before we get our final GPA, we need to first look for our CGPA. CGPA is calculated at the end of every semester every semester. This is how we have to see GPA. So with what we see here, you will see that there is a grade point B, B is 9. So what you need to do is, do not add the grade, which is the B, A, B plus, do not add that one. Add the GPT, that's the grade point, GPT. So the GPT is equivalent to the B. So if you had an A, the GPT is 12. If you had a B, the GPT is 9. So with this, you see we have 9 plus 9 plus another 9 plus 7.5 plus 12. So this is B, B, B. This is C plus, this is A. So when you put all these together, you divide it by the CCT. And the CCT would be indicated at the top of the result. So you see CCT. So where you see CCT, this here CCT is equal to 15. So let's put this together and then divide by the CCT, which is 15. Okay, guys, so we need to put this together. So we have 9 plus 9. Plus twelve. So what we get is forty six point five. So we have forty six point five divided by our CCT, which is fifteen. Sorry. So what we have here, so we are calculating CGPA. So what we have here is forty six divided by fifteen. So what is forty six point five? Sorry, forty six point five. 
divided by 15. The 15 is the CCT. That's the cumulative credit taken. So C C G P A is 3.1. So you divide this by this, you get 3.1. So if you look at you, you, you look at the results that is being showed, you will see the CGPA for the first semester, the 100 first semester was 3.1. So you look at that, it was 3.1. So what you need to do is you calculate, you do the same for every semester. So this is calculated every semester. So now, when there is a second course, that, sorry, there's a second semester, you take another course in the second semester. Do not just calculate this, don't calculate it this way. You have to add the courses you took in the second semester. So in this instance, you see we have 10.5. So we need to add 10.5 to this. We need to add 10.5. We are finding our CGP for the program. So you need to add 10.5. So that's 10.5. We are adding second semester courses to class 9, class 12, class 4.5, and class 6. Then you divide. This time, your CCT is not going to be 15 because you added two semesters together. So you should look at it, you see CCT. That should be 30. So 30. So you put all this together. So you have 9 plus 9. 7.5 plus 12 plus 10.5 plus 9 plus 12 plus 4.5 plus 6. So that gives you 88.5 divided by 10. So you divide it by 10 and you get 2.5. So realize that at the second semester, at the end of the hundred, both first and second semester, you've gotten 2.95. That's exactly what is in the academic record. So they don't make mistakes with that. So guys, this is how we calculate our cumulative grade point average. That is the CGPA, which is always shown in the academic record. Except for CGPA. Let's look for the GPA. The GPA is calculated at the end of every semester. So you just put that together for each semester. You put your GPT together, you divide by the CCT. GPA for every semester is called to the GPT divided by the CCT, and you get whatever GPA you get. But to make it easier for you, at the end of every Level at the end of every academic year. At the end of every academic year, so let's say level 100, it's easier you will get your GPA. You need not to worry yourself. If you still want to do the calculation, you do that as I as I showed you. You do it for level 100. So as we did for this, the CGPA, you do all courses in level 100, you put them together. You divide by the CCT. So you put your GPT together, you divide by the CCT, and you get your GPA. If you want to stick to what the university is having, you need to do this. Where there is, when you log into the MIS web and you click on Student Empire, you will see alternative grade, alternative progress reports. This is it. Alternative progress report. This is alternative progress report. So when you click on alternative progress report, it would take you to this interface. So this is MIS. If you log into your MIS, this is student inquiry. You look at alternative progress report. It's equal to GP. So alternative progress reports, this is what you see. So you realize that at the end of level 100, they've already completed your GPA for level 100. 
So level 100 or your level 100 course year 2017 this is your gpa so your cgpa was this your gpa was 28 2.8 so now you find 2.8 you see level 200 this is level 2018 your gpa 3.43 you see 3.33 gpa so this you see the cgpa on your academic record but if you come to the alternative report we see your GPA and at the end of your four years, it is your GPA that they will calculate, not your CGPA. So make sure you check your GPA. So now we know where we can find our GPA. So we need not worry ourselves so much calculating our GPA again. So we are going to use this to do our calculation. So in level 100, so now we know where our GPA is. So our GPA is done. We already know our CCT2, so we are done. Okay, so let's look for the final GP. The 400, 200, 300, and level 400. So it's GP, final GP. So as I said, the university uses the GP. So go to the alternative progress report. You are going to see the GP for every academic year. So level 100, we have 2.8. 300, we have 3.4, 400, no sorry, 200, 3.4, 3.62, and we have 3.96. So this is the GPA we have. The university uses a ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 2. This is the ratio that is being used. So what you need to do with this ratio is together the ratio gives you 6. So 1 divided by 6 times 2.8. 1 divided by 6 times 3.48. 2 divided by 6 times 3.62. And 2 divided by 6 times 3.96. So that is what we need to find. Let's just use the calculator to get that done. This, this is what we have at the end of it. So this is what we need to put together. This is your GPA for each level. So what we need to put together to get our final GPA. So 0 0.467 plus 0 0.573 plus 1.206 plus 1.32. So that is what you need to do to get your and we have 3.565. This is what we have. And in our normal mathematics that we learned, we have just run this. So this will be 3.57. 3.57. And then we could have put in it to 3.6, but it doesn't happen in university of that. So the final GPA. And the grade like this will be 3.57. And that falls within second class upper. Second class upper division. So anything above 3.6, anything 3.6 that gives you first class, anything below 3.6, so 3.59 gives you second class upper. So this is it, guys. So just have a look at it. And please subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.